Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Matthew Smart Tips. Today in this video, we are solving the question number 12 of GATE 2022 Mathematics and this is a question from Linear Algebra. The question says that uh, consider two statements P and Q, P and Q and we have to uh, show that whether P is true or Q is true or both true or both false. The four option is given. So, so let's start the solution and before starting the solution, I am requesting you to all those who are new in my channel, please like the video, comment if you have any doubt in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. So the P statement is let M belongs to R M by N with M greater than N greater or equal to 2. If the rank of M equal to N then the system of linear equations Mx equal to 0 has X equal to 0 as the unique as the only solution and the statement Q says that let E belongs to R N by N n greater equal to 2 be a non-zero matrix such that eq equal to 0 that is e is the nil potent matrix of index 3 then i plus e square is a singular matrix so now the first statement is a mx equal to 0 that means this is an homogeneous system of equation and we also know that for a homogeneous system of equation mx equal to 0 where m is the coefficient matrix of order m by n x is the this matrix n by 1 and o is the zero matrix that is zero matrix of order m by n this system mx equal to 0 has unique solution if rank of m uh, rank of the augmented matrix m uh, over o that is zero matrix this is equal to simply rank of m this is equal to n and infinite solution if rank of m is less than n and here it is clearly given that rank of m is equal to n that means the system mx equal to 0 has clearly unique solution and x equal to 0 is the only solution so the statement p is true statement now go to the next statement question number q statement q it says that eq equal to 0 now suppose if we take an example of such matrix whether eq equal to 0 and then we have uh, so that whether this is true or false so let us stop suppose take the matrix e equal to let us take uh, suppose 0 1 0 0 0 1 and 0 0 0 now e square equal to we get 0 1 0 0 0 1 and 0 0 0 into 0 1 0 0 0 1 and 0 0 0 this gives uh, 0 0 1 0 0 0 and 0 0 0 so e square not equal to 0 now we check eq so eq equal to e square into e this is equal to 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 and e matrix is 0 1 0 0 0 1 and 0 0 0 so this is equal to uh, 0 0 0 0 0 0 and 0 0 0 so if the matrix eq equal to 0 that is e is the in in nil potent matrix of order 3 whether e square is not equal to 0 therefore here e square is not equal to 0 means i plus e square is surely not equal to 0 since i e square is not equal to 0 so i plus e square is zero, oh, sorry 1 0 0 0 1 0 and 0 0 1 and plus e square means 0 0 1 this 0 0 1 0 0 0 and 0 0 0 so 0 0 1 0 0 0 and 0 0 0 so this is equal to 1 0 1 0 1 0 and 0 0 1 which is clearly a non-zero matrix so this statements yeah, says that this is a singular matrix which is not necessarily true for this example therefore q statement is not true that is q is false statements therefore p is true but q is false so here clearly option c is correct p is true and q is false so this is the video how was the video if the video is helpful then please give like to this video share with your friends and subscribe the channel thank you friends see you again in the next video thank you